tips for when you're recording a slideshow presentation using Loom. So to start with, I'm going to have my presentation up and ready. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit the Loom button here. So you'll notice the Loom screen pops up. Uh, we want to check a couple things here though. First of all, we want to make sure it's on full desktop. You don't want it to be on current tab or it will not record your presentation when you go into full screen presentation mode. Um, so we're going to hit full desktop. I'm also going to make sure that my little blue line is jumping here showing that it's getting audio from my microphone. And uh, if you want your picture, you're going to want it on screen and cam. And then we're going to hit start recording. So it should give us our, uh, our window here. Uh, you want to make sure you don't do application window, you want to make sure you do f entire screen so that it gets everything. And we hit share, gives us our countdown. And now we've got uh, everything ready and we're going to go and click present. So you notice pre present makes you go into presentation mode. Uh, you do still get your loom window down here and now we can go forward with our slides. Um, one thing you'll notice is that you have some tools down at the bottom and this may be a good time to use them because if you're making a video people can't see you gesturing at the screen. So that's where the laser pointer comes in handy. So you can call out things if you need to and when we're done we hit exit and you are still recording in Loom so anytime you're, ready, you're done you just hit the checkbox and then it will finish your Loom video for you and it should have everything you need. So now that your video is processed, you can click play. I'll scrub ahead a little bit so that you can see that it does record the full screen, including the bits with the laser pointer. And that's pretty much how you do it. Once it's in Loom, you have your link that you can copy and send into your Google Classroom.